Good morning. And do you guys realize anything different with uh, the audio? Well, do you? Because I just made a pretty big investment into this mic. And if it if you can't even tell the difference, what was the point? Why would I have just spent so much money on a mic? Also, if you realize that my voice sounds a little different, it's because I got a haircut today, so just don't worry about it. Anyway, the other day, I was listening to the regular old radio, as any teenager with Spotify Premium does, and I heard Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. And I was like, alright, I like this song a little bit. Then I listened further. Something was off. The best part of the song was gone. The bass line. It was replaced with a garbage synth part to make it more EDM-y. And this encounter with such a garbage remix of a song got me thinking. Is it this bad with video game music too? Times change, and as they do, people's taste in music changes too. I mean, if you added m classical music in Doom, people would be outraged. That's why, when a game is remade, they either, one, do what you should and just make it sound more clean or like it's on new hardware, or two, Modernize it. Please, companies that remake games, when you make my wish come true and make an Ape Escape remake in 8K, do not redo the music. Anyway, this is kind of the problem in games such as Crash and Spyro remakes, but let's talk about the. <laughs> this game is so good. Which is why I have almost 100 hours on the game, and I've speedrun the first game six times. And no, I haven't gotten a sub one hour time, and yes, I am incredibly salty about it. Anyway, the music is great in the original games, and it's really hit or miss in the remakes. There's great songs to come from it, like the remade Heavy Machinery, and there's some bad ones, like Hang 8. Listen to it. It's way too dramatic considering the context of the level. It really is just a mixed bag if they decide to make it better or worse. And another bad example is the Temple Ruins theme. But in this one, instead of the songs being too dramatic, it's not dramatic enough. But what about the Spyro Reignited trilogy? This game was actually handled very well when it came to music. You can choose whether you want the remixed version or the original. The remixed version is fine, not great though, but the best part is that you get a choice. In this case, choice is everything. The originals are much better than the remixed ones in my opinion, but if you prefer the remixed ones, then you can choose it. It's just such a great decision to add choice to the remixed and unremixed ones. I know I just rambled on for a long time about the choice, but I did that for three reasons. One, to drive the point home that it's good. Two, it's quite the rare occasion that you get the choice. And three, so that I can pad out the video. Wait, this game doesn't have remix music? How did that get in here? Oh, now I get it. So this was all just an elaborate way to advertise my next video? And I'm just reading all this off a script. Cool. This remake soundtrack does the first and best option that I named. They just made the music more crisp and for some of it improved it a lot. 10 out of 10 would recommend. To a friend, sometimes I tend to not know how this, these segments should end. The music in this game was handled amazingly. It's pretty much the same music as what was used in the original Game Boy version, but now it's all orchestral and elegant. It's the best kind of remake, and only change what was needed. Since the game is made to be adventurous, it's cool that they use more exotic sounding instruments. Even I couldn't tell what some of the instruments were, and obviously from the fact that I spent a few hours working on a video about music, it's safe to assume I like it. Another great thing about this soundtrack is that since all the game is smooth, it makes sense why they decided to go for a more orchestral feel overall. 
when I think of 8-bit music, I feel like it sounds rough and jagged, but when it's, that is done symphoniously, it's just better overall. I know this was a shorter video, but I just really wanted to talk about this and make a new video. But I didn't want to do a video about the thing I hinted towards earlier just yet. Anyway, yeah, go listen to these soundtracks if you haven't, and most importantly, subscribe. Listen to the Crash to Insanity soundtrack. What? Did you think I was gonna say something else? Ooh.